Thanks for joining me to color. Today we're going to be working on my Color Wednesday blog post for October 12, 2016. We're going to be using this super cute Moe's digital pencil image called Candy Apple Witch. I will put a link down in the description box if you would like to head over and grab one and color along too. If you have a question, make sure to leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I have printed my image on Nina 80 pound solar bright cardstock. So let's color. So I'm going to outline my girl first with W1 double zero and my colorless blender. I'm going to start with W1. I want to add that over here on this side in some of the spots that I want to be a little bit darker. So how about right in here? And then under her hair here she's got a little bit of space. And let's see, she's got a little bit of space right here in between hairs that's kind of showing through to the background. And let's do up here underneath this little apple. And work my way down over here. Okay, and then over here, let's see, let's do a little bit underneath of her hat. And then does she have any space over here? Here's a space right here. So let's color that in before I forget. And I'll go down by our bow. And then how about right next to our broom here and our sleeve? Okay, I'm liking that. So now I'm going to go over with my W00 and I'm going to go clear around. So I'm going to start my ground down here by the cat. So let's start right here on her cape. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to go right around the outside going over the W1 so we can soften the edge of that. There's a little bit of space right here so I'm going to fill that in. And we'll continue around. And here's a little space right here. I guess she's got a little bit of space right there in between her hat. Let me put a little bit of my W1 right in here. And then we'll fill that in with our W00. Okay, and then let's continue around our girl. And down, back down to the edge of her dress. About like that. Then I'm just going to take my colorless blender and I'm going to set it down on top of her and I'm going to swipe out past both of those colors. Up here where I did in between her hair, I'm going to go ahead and swipe over that too. And I like to do the outline first so that in case I get some, I don't have to worry about ble bleeding my other colors out into my background. I can just swipe right over the top of it. And we're going to work our way back down to the bottom. And again, get in here between these little spaces that are in the back here. I'm going to go back over a couple of spaces where I can still see a line. Let's do the ground next since we have the W's out. For that I'm going to use W1 and double zero. I'm going to start with my W1 and let's go up here underneath the kitty's ear. And we're just going to go out a little bit. And underneath of our broom. And then I'm going to bring this over about up here past um, Mo's name. 
Then I'm going to go with my W00, and I'm just going to go over the top of my W1 and pull it just a little bit past so I got a little bit more area covered. And then I'm going to go with my W1 again and add a little bit right next to her. For her skin, I'm going to use E11 and double zero, and then for her lips, I'm going to give them a touch of R35. And let's hop over here and we'll do her hand first. So I'm going to start with my E11, and let's go a little bit here by her sleeve, and then I'm going to come along the bottom of her hand, and I want to do a little dab on the bottom of each of these fingers and on the inside of her palm. And then I'm just going to swipe over that with my E double zero. Pretty easy. Let's hop over here and do this hand. So again, grab your E11, and I'm going to do right next to her arm or her sleeve. And then again, I'm going to come up and do each finger. And how about a little bit down the back of her hand here? And then let's fill that in with our E double zero. Then for her face, so E11, let's go with that a little bit right here next to her eye. And then we're going to come over here under the hat. And I want to bring this color out, so I'm going to swipe it. A little bit more. And then let's do E double zero. I think I'll give it a little bit more of my E eleven. and then go over that edge again with my E double zero. Then for little lips, so she's got a little bit there, I'm going to do my R35. I'm going to be really careful, I want to do just the tip of your pen. Got a little bit of her eye showing there, so for that I'm going to use my B02, and it's pretty small, so you're going to want to be careful. Just like the lips, I'm just going to dab a little bit of my color in there. And leave it like that. For her hair, let's use T975 and 3. I'm going to start with my T9. Let's start over here on this side over here. So I'm just going to pick a few strands and make them the T9. So let's start over here with this one that's in the bottom. And then let's say this one over here is curling around the bottom. Here's the back side. And how about the bottom of this? And then let's see, let's do this one right by her hand. And then the one here in front of her broom. See, she's got a little bit of hair right here above her finger, so let's color that. How about this inside one? And let me see, here's the back of this section. And then how about a little bit right here? Okay, then let's go over here and do this side. So let me see. Let's do this underneath one. And then let's add a little bit down in here. And how about this? And I'll put some up in here. 
I just randomly picked some different sections to color each color. Okay. I'm just going to work my way along. And let me see. I want to do a little bit on this one. How about a little bit right here on the bottom of this one? Get a few more here on the back side. And maybe a little bit up here by her hat. Okay, then let's add T7. So I'm going to try to put the T7 next to a few that I put the T9 down on. Some of them I'm not going to fill all the way in. Well, let's see. How about this inside dippy one? She has great hair. around Okay, I like that for this side. Well, maybe a little bit down here on this one. Let's hop over here and get a little bit over here. Okay, so I'm going to try to get close to her finger there without painting it. And then we're going to go with T5. And then we'll hop over here. this little curl and this section okay I like that so now we'll go with T3 to fill in the rest of those be careful not to color in the background because there's a few spaces there where you can see through her hair to the back, like right here. Right. 
in that little section right there. And then over here, we'll do the same thing. So let's fill this side in. Let's go up here and do the belt on her hat. For that, we're going to use W9, 7, and 5. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my W9. Let's do this back section back here. And then for her belt, let's do a little bit in here next to her buckle. And then I'm going to bring it out into the center. Like that. And then we have to make sure to get on the inside of the belt. There's some great lines that are already for us, so I'm just going to cover those up. And then over here, we'll do it on the outside. And let's go with a line right here. And let's add W7. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in this back section. And then for the belt, let's bring this out. And then W5. Give it a couple of swipes. Soften those edges a little bit. For her hat and her coat, let's use the 17, 15, 04, and 12. I'm going to start with my V17. And let's do the little pointy part of her hat. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this little curly cue down here first. Otherwise, I'll completely forget about it. I'm just going to color that little bitty line that's showing in. Then I'm going to come up here, and where it's coming out from behind, I'm going to pull this up. Let's bring it up here towards this line right here. And then let's go down the back. Just add a few little dark spots in here. And then up here, let's bring this around. And you might want to, too, take the um, other end of your pin off because my pin I hardly ever use this one so it's really damp so that means it may you know, spill onto your project make a big blob nobody wants that okay let's now do our V Let's go out a little bit more here. Now we're going to do V15. So I just want to soften the edges of that dark. So let's go up here. And I'm pull this up just a little bit more. And then up here, let's do...
Yeah, I think I'll pull a little bit more out from the side right here. Then we want to add VO4. Let's start over here. And this one's really pink, so I didn't, I went over the two previous colors so that it would add that pink into that. And then I swiped over the whole thing with V12. I gave it a second coat. I'm going to go again so it'll be a little bit more purple. Let's go down here. So let's just give it a second coat. So V17. And V15. And V04. And then a second swipe of our V12. All right, there's the top. Now let's do the bottom. So grab V17 again. And let's start over here where you can see the bottom. And then we're going to fill that in with V15. Okay, and let's grab V17 again. And I'm going to bring this little wrinkle right here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that clear down to the bottom here of my hat. Like that. And then over here, I want to go underneath of my belt. And then let's bring this out away from that belt. I'm going to bring this color clear down to the bottom of my hat. And do this side. Right there, you see your hair through right there. I'll have to fix that here in a minute. Okay, let's do, there's a little spot right here. Give that a little 
dark. And how about over here, right along this little jagged line? Okay, before I forget, let's do. What did I do our hair? The T's. Let me see if I can find one. So, this little spot there in between her hat, I'm going to grab um, T9. And what else do we have here? How about T5? That will cover that up. I forgot that the first time, too. Okay, now we're going to add V15. So let's do up here. And I'm also going to give this a second coat, so I'm not worrying if it doesn't blend all the way. And then VO4. And this is that really pink one. Let's bring this color out a little bit past her hat. And then our V12. Okay, then I'm going to give it a second coat, so grab V17. I think I'll do a second coat down here underneath of this hat, too, the bottom side, as long as I'm getting the color out. And then V15. And V04. And then over that with our V12. little rim of the hat here. A 
let's go down here and do her jacket next. So grab your V17 and let's do the inside of her sleeve first. And then let's do up from the bottom of her sleeve. I'm going to be careful going around that scarf because I'm going to paint that color that green. I don't want to be able to see my dark purple through that. And then let's outline some of these lines. Let's see. I'm going to go underneath her scarf. I'm going to do a little bit here next to her scarf. And then let's hop down here and do the bottom. Okay, can I see? I can see through right here. That. And let's do some of these lines right here. And underneath the scarf. over here to this side. So again, she's got a little bit of her undersleeve showing right here in her inside of her jacket or her coat. Color that. And let's color the bottom of her sleeve. And then let's get a few of these wrinkles. spaces. Let's go to that. Hmm, did I miss any? I don't think so, but I guess we'll see here in a minute. Now let's add V15. So I'm going to fill in her sleeve over here. And then I just want to add some color to each of these lines. And a little bit of that dark up here. We'll add that in a minute. And the bottom of her, her skirt or her coat over here. And a little bit up here between her sleeve right here. And then let me grab my V17. She's got a little bit of her coat showing right here that I missed. 
It's hard when you're trying to pay attention to where you're coloring and hit every spot. So let's do right up here. Then we're going to add VO4. So again, I'm just going to go over and add a little bit to each line. And over here. I wasn't being very tidy because I know I'm going to already go over it a second time. And then our V12. Okay, then you're going to do the whole process again with our V17. Hopefully this time I won't miss any spots. few little squiggles there and hop over here And then we'll add our second coat of V15.
over here. Then we'll add our second coat of VO4. Oops, I colored my robe or my scarf. We'll fix that later. And then we're going to go over with our second coat of V12. I'm going to color in the cuff this time. And don't forget this cuff. So let's do the patches on her coat, her scarf, her hat bow, and the belt buckle. For that we're going to use YG 25, 23, and 21. I'm going to start with my YG 25 up here on my buckle. And then we'll do YG23. And then YG21. And let's go down here and do this little bow on her hat. So again, start with your YG25. I'm going to just give each center a little swipe and then we'll follow that up with YG23 and then go over those with our YG21. Like that. How about this little pocket right here? So Actually, she's got a little bit of a shoe showing. Let's show, paint those green, too. So I'm going to do my YG25 right on those. She's wearing green shoes. Okay, so this little patch, let's do on here. And then we'll add YG23. And then YG21. And how about this patch? So again, I'm going to go with YG25. And I'm going to color around each of these little swirls. And then I'm going to go over that with my YG21. And for this patch up here, we're going to do YG25. And I'm going to do every other one. So let's do this one. And then I'm going to fill in those with my YG21. OK, 
Okay, and that takes us up here to our little scarf. So YG25 first. Then we'll add YG23. I'm going to fill this side over here in. And then let's fill that in with our YG21. For her dress, I'm going to use just Y23, and I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to fill it in. Those lines were pretty dinky on my printing, so I didn't want to mess with coloring them a bunch of different colors. Although you could. I'm just going to color this in. And then I want to go back and add a little bit of my creases in, so let's add a second coat next to these lines. Let's do our broomstick next. For that, we're going to use E49, 44, and 42. I'm going to start with E49. And let's color this swirl in. And we'll go down here. And she's got a little bit showing right here underneath of her hat. So I'm going to just color that in. And I'm just going to follow the line that's already there down to the bottom. And then I'm going to go with E44. So I'm going to leave a little space and do this outside one. And we have to go up here and get this little spot right here. And then E42 to fill it in. And then for the straw, I'm going to use E53. Nothing too fancy. Just going to color that in. And then for the strings, let's see, let's do E44. For the caramel apple, let's use R39, 37, 35, and for the topping, I'm going to use E35 and 33. And let's start with our R39 down here at the bottom of our apple. And then we want to add R37. And then go over both of those with our R35. OK, 
Okay, then for the caramel, let's do E35 first. And I'm going to do these ones in the back. And then let's bring this up here into the top. And I try not to color those little nuts on there. But if you go over them, it's no really big deal. And then I filled it in with my E33. And then I left the stick white. So that leaves us with this cat. So for that, let's use W7, 5, and 3, and then for inside his ear, let's use R12. So I'm going to start with my W7, and let's do, I tried not to put too much because it's kind of dark, and let's do a little bit where this foot's touching the cape, and underneath of his head, and we'll do a little dab right here in his ear. Then let's bring this around over here by the side where it's touching her her jacket. And maybe a little bit on this side of his face. And we're going to go W5. I'm going to fill in the bottom of his chest. W3. And then do your W or arch eleven on the inside of his ear. He's got a little bit shown right there. Right here, and you can actually dab his little nose a little bit, I guess. He's got a little bit of spot there. So there is our adorable Candy Apple Witch all colored up. Isn't she cute? If you'd like to see what I did with this image on the finished card, head over to the store blog and view post for October 15, 2015. If you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment. Otherwise, I hope you had fun coloring with me today, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.